Uh, now I've got the stuff I need to do my measurements. I've got micrometer, calipers, whatever you want to call them. Berniers. They're not vernier calipers, but whatever. And I got a metric tape measure, because I'm going to do this all metric. <coughs> so, first thing is up. Uh, where did I put them? Oh, I need Neptunes. Okay, get these on the wrong side, they pointed to each other. That's very useless. Anyways, put that on that side and this on this side. Alright, so. These are going to go like that. And, uh... I want to measure the diameter of these, so seems to be 41 millimeters, probably 40 millimeters once it's compressed. So 40 millimeters, yeah, 40 millimeters. And uh, the ID of that hole, and we'll just use this end, is 35 millimeters. So 40 on the OD, 35 on the ID. I need to get paper so I can write this down. I meant to grab that before I started filming. Could have sworn I had some notepads out here, but all I'm finding is, uh, okay, we got a good view of what I'm working on. Good. Okay. Tubes. 35 millimeter ID, 40 millimeter OD. Um, now, I kind of want to screw these down so that I can measure the distance from side to side. Although I could just do it off the carburetors. I still have those down here. So let's just do it off the carburetors. So there's the carburetors. We'll just use those for figuring out distance. Uh, we have got, um, 36 centimeters. Yeah, yeah, I'm going to say 36, maybe 37, probably 36, 36 centimeters, yeah, and, uh, so, 36 centimeters, oops, let's see, um, uh, and, and, So that's what 360 millimeters whatever so um these tubes are each um they each go in two centimeters so i two cm on each end so they stick in two centimeters. So I can double check that here too. I can also go um, just, you know, depth gauge. I've got that little depth gauge that comes out of the back of this. Make sure I'm on in the shot. 18.92. Yeah, two centimeters. Uh, there be some sticking out, but yeah, that's fine. All right. So the contraption I'm going to print in the middle. Um, I mean, I can I can buy tubes, but then it's just another junction that I've got to put at that end. So I might just print it so that it just comes all the way out and sticks into these, which would much more closely replicate that. And then in the center, I got to put the spot for the throttle body. Um, and it looks like this is high enough that it's going to clear the tube in the middle. So I won't have to worry about that. So, now to the CAD. I think that's all the dimensions I need. Oh, how far apart are these? <laughs> that's an important one. All right, so, I'm gonna go down here. Uh, these are um, 14 centimeters. The tubes, I'm just gonna draw makeshift CAD. 14 centimeters and then the distance between the two of them I can do with this looks like it's <coughs> 53 53.5 millimeters 
Yeah, I guess so. And the distance between these two. Fifty three point five. So yeah, I've just got a birthday card. I'm scratching some dimensions on. That's the important info that I need. So from there, I can go do it all in CAD. All right, let's try this out. Good afternoon, guys. So I've got a rough draft of the intake manifold. If you know um, these bikes well enough, or really any flat flat four, you know I already you can already tell I made a mistake. Cylinders are offset because they're offset on the crankshaft, and I didn't do that with my runners. So these should have been over a little bit. Uh, I'm gonna have to, you know, redo it. But I figure, you know, this is a very rough draft, and I'm just gonna see how it turned out. So what I did in the design was I did a half pipe shape there, you know, flat on top, but it's, you know, half a pipe. Anyways, yeah, so that, that shape. Um, so the, the uh, throttle body bolt here, I just did a 100 and a 4 by 100 bolt pattern or something close to that anyways. And the runners are the right size, so these should, yep, they just fit on there. In fact, they're a little loose on there. Might need to make them bigger in the next version, although they kind of shrink in the end, so... It might be okay. Anyways, this is a very rough draft. I did this at like 0.3 layer height and just halt, but and it's a lot of material. It's very thin. Uh, I don't have much infill in here. And uh, the filament was super moist. It was just some old junk filament I had. It is ASA, but it was moist and it was sitting there pop, 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 pop the whole time it's printing. Anyways, we can, you know, put these, these on. Now remember, the problem with putting a central carburetor, they're, they're, I'll, I'll show you guys the, the one on eBay uh, that does a central carburetor on these things. And the problem with putting a carburetor in the middle, you know, an old like Volkswagen Beetle carburetor, is that um, icing. There's nothing keeping it warm in the middle. So when the engine's cold, or really any time, because the evaporating gas coming out of the carburetor is going to... Um, drop the air temperature you get icing inside here and all the runners ice up and that ice is fuel so eventually it melts so it's just it's bad what i'm going to do are injectors you know they're going to come straight down like this they're going to shoot straight down into the port at the valve so i will not have an icing problem all right so there we go these are up nice and high this thing's going to clear that just fine um so now let's see how it looks on the other side. So see where the runners are? Um, let's look straight down. So the runners are uh, it's essentially pointing at the spark plug here and this one's just a little bit off. And uh, yeah, I'll, I'll grab the, uh, the spacers for this side and show you. So we're bolted on this side and I got the runners into there. side you know things about square yeah that's that's about square on the, the engine there and as you can see that runner's there and that one's there so uh, there yeah so they're they're both about that far off so I need to measure that so I can offset these forward on this on one side uh, yeah and uh so the the first draft i've learned that yes it will clear on the bottom that's good um maybe i can make these tubes bigger i don't know i, I should probably cut them back so see how they kind of shrunk um you know just temperature wasn't high enough at, inside the uh chamber so the ends of these pulled up a little bit and shrank because of it Anyways, um, let's see. I, I'm thinking I'm going to let's see, make this wider. And uh, I might even make it a little bit taller. And the throttle body I'm going to make use is a lot smaller than 100 millimeters. So I should just go ahead and make the hole smaller. So you can see I put a little cone in the center. 
I don't know. Why not? It just seemed like the air would come down, and the air that's going straight down will hit that and kind of get shot off at a, at a 45. I don't know. I've never designed an intake before, and this is certainly better than the one that's on eBay. I'll show you a picture of that one. That one, <laughs> it, it's got to have some kind of weird reversions going on in there. Everybody I hear about putting a carburetor on their bike with that manifold, between the icing problems and I think the shape of that manifold, I th they just have huge problems. Anyways, if I weren't doing this with a 3D printer, I could probably, this looks like it'd probably be a piece of a, a six inch pipe. Um, or, you know, you could even do like 12 inch pipe. And then these are 40 millimeter tubes. So, you know, you could, you could totally make this. And then, you know, you'd cut, you take your piece of six inch pipe and cut it off here. And then, you know, glue on a, a you'd, I'd assume you'd make it out of ABS. So this would be an ABS pipe you'd cut off. And then you'd take a uh, ABS sheet, like quarter inch ABS sheet, glue it onto the top of that, drill out some holes in the sides of it, glue in some ABS pipes on each side, and it'd probably turn out even smoother and better than my 3D printed one. In fact, I may even try that myself. But for, for prototyping, I'm going to keep doing this. Okay, the video ended a little abruptly, so I just tossed this in here. Here's a short list of some of the things that I've ordered for the fuel injection in the recent past. This video got really delayed. I shot it, you know, a month ago, and then I wanted to do more, but I never got around to it, so this is what you get. Um, like and subscribe. I will do another special probably tomorrow with uh, designing the intake manifold. Um, I confirmed all my measurements, so now I just got to design it, and I got a good filament, so I'm going to print it. And I got all the parts. Um, they are either ordered or here. So this is going to proceed pretty quickly here in the near future.